what's up YouTube got another video for you woke up this morning with the plan on making a video but it was going to be a different topic but before work I was just cruising through Facebook like I normally do and I came across a short clip of Dale Sanders talking about building a speed train and getting trucks off the road and all I heard was more taxes less jobs and people were cheering I don't understand why but they were so I kind of was reading through the comments and there was a certain fella on there I thought it was a fabulous idea to build a train with US tax dollars to eliminate jobs for the American people. So I figured I'd start a conversation with the guy. But I didn't start it in a normal way. What I did was is I basically pointed him out and said that people like him on either side of the aisle is the reason why not get anywhere fixing the issues in this country they want to build a speed rail train whatever while we have war vets going hungry children going hungry the infrastructure of this country is going to shit all over the country uh, I can't remember what state or county it was in but I don't even know if they still have if they have drink, uh, clean drinking water yet uh, the government Government programs just suck, as we all know. Public schools, public housing. So, what I don't understand is why people think that it's a great idea to to use to give government more power to try to fix the issues in this country. I think you'd have better luck throwing a fucking rock at a window to fix it. Because that's about how dumb it is. In my opinion, we need to get rid of government. Now, I, I was trying to figure out what this guy thought was a problem, and he said that the reason people are poor is because of capitalism, which is a bunch of dumb fucking shit, because all capitalism is, is somebody has a product or service available for a willing consumer to pay and or trade for. That's all capitalism is. Capitalizing on having something somebody else doesn't and making a profit by trading or selling. That's it. There's nothing special about it. And he thinks this is making people poor. And it's not. The problem is that the government has basically forced itself into the capitalistic market with laws and regulations so that way uh, big companies, corporations own products. Right? So as an example, again, this isn't, uh, don't take my word for it, I'm just trying to use an example here. But like, let's say uh, Nike makes a shoe, right? Now Nike owns that shoe. Nobody else can make that shoe, right? So Nike sells that shoe for $100. I have the capability of making the same exact shoe for a quarter of the price overall and still make profit, yet yeah, I can't do that right and or a corporation will sell a product and say that you're not allowed to fucking you're not allowed to fucking sell it for anything less than what what uh, they'll they'd sell it for which again is dumb because why not be able to buy something for as cheap as possible and then sell it for whatever price you want making whatever profit you want. Now the consumer will then have an option. Do I want to buy this guy's product for $100 or the same exact product a different person for $75? But because of legislation and laws and uh, corporations being in the pocket of the government and vice versa, we as the people of the country are, are basically restricted to products at a certain cost. Now, I'm not saying that's what we're making people for, uh, but it doesn't help. And the 
or just means that you're not able to afford such services or products. Now, if products are cheaper, then obviously you wouldn't get as much money, and in turn, you're not poor. Again, the government taxes everybody so harshly. Where do you think those costs go? It trickles down to the consumer. And I was trying to explain that to this guy, but he wasn't getting it. You can't sit there and expect to, to force somebody to surrender taxes, pay fees, and, and whatever else, right? And then not expect that to trickle down to the employees and then to the consumer and then so forth and so on. So for me, my idea, the way I think about it is take away the government. No government. If we had no government, then there would be more money for the employees, there would be more money to spend on products, there would be more open market, free market for people to, to make and build and to uh, provide services and products at competing prices. You know, it's like the gas station across the street from each other, right? One gas station drops its price a cent, one across the street drops two cents. You know, they compete. And by competing, you get the lowest price for the same product. But unfortunately, again, with the government and how the government has its pockets and everything, and how uh, the corporations have uh, basically pocketed the, the government, is that corporations and big companies own the product. So nobody else has a right to it. Which in turn, again, they can jack prices and there's nothing we can do about it, even though we may need that product. A uh, perfect example is like uh, your utility bill, electric and water. I don't know about you, but anywhere I've lived and paid utilities, I have one, maybe two options, gas and electric. They're all city government owned, right? Now, if somebody was able to harness energy and sell it, they'd be fine. I know of a story a few years ago, uh, a gentleman had put up a, a wind turbine to, uh, for power, and the city or county made him take it down because he was stealing electricity, because he was trying to live off the grid. Again, more government isn't going to fix anything. This guy goes, well, what about legislation that keeps businesses from mistreating its employees? You know, maybe a hundred years ago, this legislation stuff for uh, uh, employers and stuff like that was maybe useful or necessary. But we live in a day and age of information, okay? So if employees are being mistreated, all it takes is a couple posts on Twitter, bam, no more business. Nobody's going to go uh, pay for uh, services at a place where the employer treats its employees like shit. I mean, uh, this guy that I'm talking to is a uh, self-proclaimed, uh, damn, what do you call him? Uh, he said he wasn't a Democrat, he was a uh, part of the woke movement and all that, uh, cancel culture, progressive, right? Them being part of the woke culture and the cancel culture, I mean, they can put businesses out, uh, put businesses out of uh, commission with no problem. I mean, they do it today. So, the information that's available to us via the internet, uh, the way that we can communicate, we can have businesses and companies run basically the same way that eBay and Amazon are, right? You have a seller that offers a product. And with that seller, you have reviews, you have ratings, you have descriptions of the products received, uh, you have customer service, complaints, or, uh, uh, you know, compliments. And you can base your decision making on whether or not you want to purchase from that seller based off of thousands of people that have uh, done transactions with you don't need a government saying and telling us uh, that a business is okay or, or uh, a health uh, restaurant if they're healthy. I mean, all it takes to shut down a restaurant is for an employee to take a picture of a cockroach or a rat in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need an inspector to go in and 
you know, tell them, you know, hey, this is, uh, uh, this is how you have to do shit. So, anyways, I'm ranting on, on a little bit now, but uh, my whole point is, uh, especially the Sanders bullshit. I mean, I don't care if you're Trump, Sanders, Hillary, uh, uh, fucking Bush, Biden. I don't want any of you guys to tell me or anybody else what you can and can't do. Now, the only thing that you should be doing is a is taking care of our military. Active and retired, be being a delegate between the countries and being a mediator between the states of the country. That should be your only job. You shouldn't be making laws or anything else. You can leave that to the state level. And on the state level, what we need to do is we need to set term limits. This whole thing where uh, congressmen and, and, and shit like that. Uh, being in power over a state for 20, 30 years is a bunch of bullshit. We need to get new people in on a regular basis. We need fresh mind. We can't let uh, the same person keep destroying cities. Uh, and then to go, go back to uh, the more government, more government part is if anybody has an example that contradicts this, let me know. Leave it in the comments, but. If you really do the research and you take a look at uh, the areas that have the highest taxes and, uh, and uh, the, high, uh, the most laws, they generally have a higher number of homelessness and a higher number of crime. Again, I've looked into it and that seems to be what the statistics are, but if you have anything against that, let me know. So again, a stronger, powerful government isn't going to do nothing except for make more criminals and make more poor people. Because all they're going to do is they're going to raise taxes, take more, you're going to have to surrender more, which is going to take uh, uh, a lot more uh, hours worked and a lot more energy to try to keep up, in turn, making people poor. And then again, the laws and legislation just making criminals out of innocent people. So, uh, if, again, if you disagree, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I don't know how else you can look at it. It just, uh, we've been doing it like this for years and years. When I was a kid, my grandma told me, by the time you're my age, you're not going to have any rights left. Because she, over her time, sat there and saw the government slowly but surely start picking them away, picking them away, picking them away. And I'm seeing it now that I'm going to be 32 and uh, just about a month or so. And then I've seen since the time that, you know, I was uh, 21, 22, uh, just slowly over time how the government has slowly just taken a little by little. And the thing is, is that we as the American people are letting them do it. Anytime you rush down to the ballot box and you cast your vote, you're vo voting for the government to take more. You're voting for more poor people. You're voting for... Uh, less freedom. We need to stop it. But we all, as a, the people of the United States, we need to band together and start running the show ourselves. Because the people of this country would do a much better job. Uh, people give the charity as is. I believe it's mainly for tax benefits. But I think if you're the kind of person that's going to uh, donate, then not having to pay substantial amounts of taxes. Gonna, it's going to free up the ability to make that decision without having to worry about taking care of your family or whatever the case may be. So, uh, again, I feel like I'm rambling. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. Uh, until next time, be safe, know your rights, and uh, don't get punked at your rights.